Alright, so I wanted to record this one before I quickly make sure that you have Oculus Entitlement installed in your application. And what that's going to do for you is basically make it so if the store doesn't see that the users purchased this product, then it's going to make it so basically it doesn't run. It's like a piracy check. Uh, so this is how to get started with that. Basically, you need to download just a couple things. So the first thing we need is the Oculus Unity Platform SDK, which is found at this link here. And so click that and download. This is going to download a package directly to your desktop or wherever. In this case, it's here for me. The second step is then take that package and import it into Unity. So in my case, I have to go to import package, custom package, and then browse right to it on my desktop. You can probably just double click it. That's going to run and install. Once that's finished, you've got the platform software in your project. I'm also using the Oculus Unity SDK as well. Um, okay, so once that's complete, the next step is to get your app ID. This is pretty straightforward, but I found it kind of difficult to find it just because, um, I'll show you. Basically, go to your developer dashboard, go to your game, and then once you're in the game, like this screen here, click on platform. And then this little three dot thingy, click that, and then click on API. Um, when you click API, it's going to show you your key. It'll be the first thing in the middle of the screen. I'm not going to click through just because uh, I can't blur my video, so <laughs> I'm going to skip that. But you go ahead, click API, and grab the key. So once you have your application key, then it's time to do the scripting part. So this part here, uh, you can find most of the code example on the documentation page. It's going to be this chunk of code along with that chunk of code. Uh, excuse me, this chunk of code. Um, I've put them all into one file here, though, to make it nice and easy. So one thing to note is you have to do use, uh, excuse me, using Oculus.platform to make this code work. They don't mention that in the documentation. But once you've done that, essentially take this number here and pop your key value into that. So whatever your key is, it should go there. And this code is real straightforward. It basically says, uh, if the user is not entitled, then do something. In this case, I'm having Unity quit the application. Uh, else, then proceed with your game. So this could be where you put in your boot code or whatever you want at this point. Um, for this example, I'm keeping it very straightforward. It's just going to print a message to say if you're entitled or not. One thing to note about this is that according to Oculus, uh, Oculus documentation, entitlement checks do not work from the Unity editor. You need to test directly from Windows. Um, I found that when I try it from the editor, I actually do get a different response if I put in a bad key or a good key. I'm not sure what to make of that, but anyway, that's the implementation for it, and I'll include a link to this code in the documentation. So once this is in place, go back to your uh, Unity editor, check your console to make sure you're not getting any errors, and then if that looks good, you can test it on out. In my case, I'll show you with the console where it shows me my feedback once I can find the council, which is currently buried somewhere. But that's okay. Basically, run the game. And uh, we're going to see down here in this tiny little message, I don't know if you can read it, but it says Oculus Platform Entitlement Check. So it said passed. Now the thing to note is it's going to say passed if your key is correct. In this example, I haven't saved the document yet, so it's saying pass. If I were to save this document, and then play it again, we should see that it fails because I've given it a bogus key. And then at the bottom, it does say Fired Oculus Platform is not entitled. So that's the gist of it. Once you have those pieces in place, from there, uh, the Oculus submit submitting of the application is well documented. But just to cover that too, you'd go to build, you'd upload your first build, which would be your alpha. But if this is also the build you want to go live with, Go ahead and find the store channel, click Actions, and then from here, there'll be a drop-down that lets you select the build that you've already uploaded, or you can upload a new build to it. So once that's complete, once everything else is filled out, then you should be good to submit your product to the store. I just got a note from them that says it takes two to three weeks for submission, so fingers crossed. All right, hopefully this was helpful to you. We just uh, basically made our Oculus, Oculus app have entitlement. Um, in just a few minutes.
The documentation was kind of spread out, but I think condensed into it a lot easier. All right, hopefully, hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, see you next time.